So hi guys, we are back in the closet. Um, it is actually the same day from part one, but I have eaten, we have gone to the grocery store. I am refreshed and ready to finish up this extreme closet organization and declutter using the home edits um, organizing um, methods. If you have not seen part one, pause this one, go watch part one, and then come back for this final push and final motivation to get your space clean and organized on a budget. So guys, like I said, if you haven't watched part one, click over and watch that first, but this is part two. So now I am putting everything back together and I am organizing my clothes in colored order. I don't keep winter clothes or different clothes in a separate, all of my clothes that are top. So in the closet, I hang up shirts. And then on the other side, I hang up um, dress, I hang up shirts, blazers, jackets, sweaters, those sorts of things. And on the other side, I hang up dresses and jumpers and then like long skirts. But I don't keep winter clothes in a separate pile. Everything is together. Um, I really, really, really try, and I know I always say this, I really try to be a minimalist and only have things in my closet that I love. So when I'm bringing in new pieces, I like to go through and just give away those pieces that aren't serving their purpose anymore or I just don't wear. And then maybe somebody else could get good use out of them. So just going through, color coordinating everything, it makes it look a whole lot better. Another tip, get all of the same hangers. I usually buy mines from Target. I think you get a pack of 20 or so, maybe more than that for a few bucks, but whatever color you choose, it makes your closet look so much better if you have matching hangers and everything is color coordinated. So I'm just going through and doing that on my side and then my husband, his side and the home edit, they talk about this too. I organize his clothes more by um, like function, how he was going to use them. And they talk about zoning things and that's kind of what we did for his side. So his clothes aren't all like I have tank top, shirts, everything kind of mixed. They're just by color because that's kind of how I get dressed. Oh, I want to wear a red shirt today or a yellow shirt. And I live in Cali. So to be honest, you can wear tank tops all year round but and I usually wear them under a blazer if I'm going to work or something like that but um, for his clothes I organize them more by function so work polos longer dress shirts that kind of stuff so organize your closet in a manner that's going to work for you guys and so everybody's closet is going to function differently and have different zones depending on what you how you operate in your closet like if you're a working mom if you're a stay-at-home mom whatever you are so organize your closet in zones that work for you now i've moved over to the dress area and oh my goodness i got rid of so much stuff over here so i'm just organizing dresses jumpers and skirts and i am also doing those in color order as well but i got rid of so much stuff so i have room for more things that I love and then I also just have space. Sometimes it's good just to have space. Okay guys, now we have moved to the final stage. Everything is contained, put back, and now I am just labeling everything. And I have a label maker. The tape had red ink, which I don't love, but whatever, I'm going with it. I'm not going out to buy new tape. So in this um, declutter and organization, you guys saw that I bet I bought very few items and I tried to really reuse and repurpose the things that we had or were currently using. So you don't need to go out and buy all new things. Use what you have or repurpose something that you were using for another function. 
So I'm just going through and labeling all of my husband's drawers. And this is great because if he's putting things away or if the kids are folding things and putting things away, they can see everything is labeled and they can see where everything goes. And then now I'm at that final stage and I am going to go in and vacuum everything and get it nice and clean and tidy. And then I will show you guys the finished product and I am so excited that this is done and I feel a relief. And we have been living with our closet like this for a few days and it is functioning well and just makes me feel so much better. So before we show the finished product, let's recap the before. So not horrible, but just wasn't functioning well. I mean, there are some places that are pretty horrible, like my where my dresses are, but not terrible, but just didn't function well for us. And I will show you guys how it all turned out. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a lot of work. You can break this process up, like I said in the last video. If you organize one small space in your house, maybe one a weekend, if you do that every single weekend, just one, maybe it's a drawer, one area, or maybe each day you just do one small area, I promise you, you are going to feel so much better. So we're about to pan to the after, and you guys will check that out. Okay guys, we are done. Thank goodness. <laughs> So up here, I put some of my bags, but they have bags stuffed in there. I wear the same bag every day. Um, if we go on a trip or something, I'll switch to my diaper bags. Um, but typically I rock the same bag all the time. And here we have some scarves. And I did kind of their little knot, little bun knot. So I have scarves in there. And then here is miscellaneous stuff. We do a lot of dress up days at school. So I have like bunny ears, cow ears, just different kind of dress up stuff in there. And then this is where we put our socks. And in my laundry routine, you'll know all about that. But here is my clothes. So starting with red, rust, pink, goes into green, blue, um purples and then a little bit of yellow and then the neutrals and then i have some extra hangers here and then this starts my husband's pants these are his work pants he usually wears khakis and polos so there we have it there these are some of his shirts and i let him organize them in the fashion he wanted to so darks and whites that's what he likes in the front and then they're not really in any type of rainbow bow order but it's just what he likes since it is his stuff um function over i guess aesthetics i do use all of all white hangers um, I just want this to work and us to be able to use it and to maintain it. And then this little thing that we got from Walmart for a few bucks, we have shorts, some of his other favorite hats in there, and then shorts. So we have tans, gray, and black. And then this section, these are kind of his um, everyday work shorts. He typically wears um, polo polos and um khaki pants to work so the these are those I tried to just group them they're not really in rainbow order so he has whites blacks his neutrals that goes into purples blues and greens and then these blues I need to move <laughs> I'll move those over but and then up here I have a few headbands up here, not many, but it's more of his hats. And then this one, which I need to get another little clip like that. This just has um, his just extra t-shirts. And then over here we have belts. 
like the belts that he does not wear every day because I want to avoid him having to pull stuff down. So this is stuff that he does not use every day, just the overflow. And then this is swim trunks. And then these are extra PJ pants, but the ones he does not use every day. So that's how I have his section organized because I don't want him pulling those down. That's just the overflow on top. And then let's go to this wall we have with those command hooks, some of his favorite hats hung up. And then these, this last command hook, I just used it for the belts that he wears every day. So depending on what color shoes he wears, he switches out his belt. So he has browns and then two black belts there. And then this little $9 gem, it's not the prettiest, it's only $9, but it will work until, we probably will move out of this house and our next house will have a whole completely different system, but this works for now and it's especially good if you are on a budget or trying to budget with this closet organizational thing. So. We have contained his PJ shorts and I labeled them. The tape only had red um, ink, so I just went with it. So these are all his PJ shorts and they are rolled. We have PJ shirts and we have workout shirts and shorts. So workout shirts and shorts in there. And then let's go over here. Up here, I have one of our, my husband's, like his overnight bag. If he has like a quick business trip, that's his bag there. This is my overnight bag, but I have some other purses in there. And then we had a first aid kit in here, so I just kept it up there. But we actually have room, not like before. And then I have extra hangers here, and then I put our laundry basket here. And then that is my husband's robe. And then I organize my dresses. I tried to group them by color the best that I could. Dresses, jumpsuits, that kinds of stuff. So I really decluttered and shrunk this area down. I really gave away a lot of stuff. And then here I just have one of my hats that's hanging by a command hook. One of those command hooks right there. I like the command hook because you're not just busting holes in everywhere in your house. And it comes off easy and it doesn't ruin the wall. So, and then back here we have hooks. This is where we hang like our PJs because um, we wear our PJs more than one time. Okay, guys, that is it. We made it. So I hope this video gave you some inspiration, motivation, organizing ideas, all of that, affordable, budget-friendly, all of those kind of ideas to get a space in your home organized. And just remember, you don't have to tackle something all in one day. Organizing and decluttering just one drawer in your house um, really makes a difference. That's one space that's clear mind, clear space, and it's ready to be used properly. So we're gonna be tackling my home like your home one space at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.